time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review start. Or no, series review. Right, y'all. Well, this Friday, November 19th, the new live action version of Cowboy Bebop drops on the Netflix streaming service and I have your review. All right, y'all, Netflix's live action Cowboy Bebop drops on Net the streaming service this Friday, November 19th. This is a faithful depiction of the 1998 anime series of the same name that stars John Chu as the lead character, Spike Spiegel. Does the live action series hold up to the anime series? Well, Let's find out in this review, but first let me tell you a little bit about what the live action series is. Cowboy Bebop is a, a action-packed space western about three bounty hunters, aka called the Cowboys, and they're all trying to outrun their past. As different as they are deadly, Spike Spiegel, who's played by John Chu, Jack Black, who's played by Mustafa Shakar, and Faye Valentine, who's played by Daniel Daniela Pinda, form a scrappy, snarky crew ready to hunt down the solar system's most dangerous criminals for the right price, that is. But they can only kick and quip their way out of so many scuffles before their past finally catch up with them. So like I said, the best thing about this new live action Cowboy Bebop series is the fact that it stays very true to the animated series. I mean, you couldn't hope for more. It even brings back Yoko Kano, who was the original composer and the original director as the creative consultant for the new show. This series is a fairly faithful adaptation of the original anime from visuals, feel, and overall vibe. Everything is exactly as it seems in the anime. I mean, first you can take the character Spike Siegel, who's played by John Chu. Now Spike in the anime is like a character in like his late 20s, and Chu is, you know, pushing 50. He's up there in age, so the actor definitely looks the part of Spike Spiegel from the costuming and he even grew out his hair before filming. But the age difference is a bit jarring. Jet Black, who's played by Mustafa Shekhar, he he embodies his anime character character as being the mature and, and the and the bit more strict of the bunch, you know? While his costume does differ a bit from his animated counterpart. He still has that cybernetic arm and the scar and implant around his eye that's been replicated like precisely. Spike, who's played by Cho and Mufasa, they just have some chemistry on screen, screen in this live action. I enjoyed it. You know, from their little banter back and forth and even some, you know, comedic moments that will really have you cracking up. Especially, you know, Spike talking about, uh, one episode always talking about wanting noodles through the whole thing. They, all he talks about is noodles, and, and it just brings, you know, some fun moments. Now, Faye Valentine, she had the most drastic of costume changes in this, and it, but it feels a little more apropos than the scantily clad version presented in the 90s version. And then we got Elon, who's accounted for, and still a corgi in this. But the question is, will Ed show up? You know he's, Ed's the fan favorite of the anime when he shows up, and everybody's asking, will he be in this one? Well... I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to watch it. I'm not saying a word. Cowboy Bebop's not perfection to say. It does have its imperfect moments. But overall, I mean, it it really hits the nail on the head. It's, it takes the series a bit time to get going. You know, the first couple episodes seem a little sloppy and muddled in plot. But once it gets going, I'm telling you, you will be hooked in and hooked in fast. And not unlike the anime, it kind of drops the viewer into this strange world and discusses things in a matter of fact tone like it assumes that you just know what's going on and to kind of catch up with them. There's some you know pacing issues in this and there is enough of this live action that differs from the anime which I mean it can be a double-edged sword. Hard cure, hardcore purists you know that brave the waters of this live action offering will surely be lightening up the internet with hatred and acting like there's nothing sacred in this world anymore. I've seen it, believe yeah, me. All I can tell those closed-minded types, then don't apply, don't watch it, then. Need not apply, but as a fan of the original, I can say that I'm a fan of the new Cowboy Bebop as well. 
I mean, it's not even close to how they did us in Masters of the Universe cartoon when they decided to make a live-action movie, which took many years to get off the ground, but I'm glad they made this series. I think the casting is solid, and I will definitely be waiting patiently for the next season. So let's cross our fingers that there is one. Now let's talk about what parents need to know before letting their kids watch this Cowboy Bebop live action series. First language, they got plenty of profanity in this all throughout it. I mean, you're gonna have the F word, you're gonna have the B word, you're gonna have the S word, the A-hole word, the D word, male genitalia, the, the C word for the female genitalia. I mean, they, and, and more, they do not, you know, hold back as far as the language in this one, so. Be prepared. They also have some nudity. They have some scenes where, you know, you see characters full of, female especially, full on naked. You see some bare breasts. You, you see some heavy kissing scenes, but there's no really sex scenes to say in this one. Just kind of implied sex. Other than the language, the other big lookout for this, is, of course, is the violence. <laughs> I mean, this is Cowboy Bebop. You're going to get violence. You're going to get hand-to-hand -hand combat. You're going to get guns, shooting, murder, stabbings. You're going to get it all. Be prepared. I mean, especially the martial arts and all that. They don't hold back. They have some great martial arts scenes, but it gets very violent. There's also, you know, some drugs and alcohol in this series. And uh, even some abuse, like uh, the husband kind of chokes out a wife. So you might see that some of that that might be triggering for some. Like I said, I did. I enjoyed this Cowboy Bebop. It's like a, it's 10 episodes long, each episode running from around 45 minutes to an hour long. And it's such a faithful depiction of the original anime. I, it's a true homage to fans, and I just hope fans appreciate it because... They really put some thought and effort into this, bringing back the original creators from the anime. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Let me know what you think down below. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Till next time. Mwah!